right, boys. Happy Monday. What are we working on today? Mmm. Yummy. Yeah, failed breather was the cause of that uh, water getting in the old gear wall there. Look at how crappy that guy looks. Hello. See Let's get this belt installed. Yep. Good to go. Also got three new grease fittings in this old girl here. All three of them broke, extracted, put new ones in. Oh yeah, look at that. After it was all said and done, really feeling like I'm going back into forklifts. This was like a day-to-day -day call back in the day, so hope you guys enjoyed the forklift coverage. More to come. This is what success looks like. Ooh. Just moves real freely. That's perfect right there. That's perfect. Doesn't get any better than that, boys. There you guys go. So you get yourself a chain wrench, hang it somewhere on the frame, axle, whatever. And then you're on the side with a big old pair of adjustables. And uh, with enough heat, you can pretty much get that broken free. There's Loctite on the inside there. I use blue Loctite to put it back in because I don't hate my life. Have a good day. All right, so I was doing some parasitic draw testing on this here starter. And um, well, on this machine, the same telehandler. And I'm like, let me go ahead and check the starter cable and stuff like that. And uh, like, hey, the cables are kind of loose there. So then I start fiddling around with it. I look closer and starter. So getting back to the 966M here, we got one very large pallet of shit. And then we've got two. And then right in the back there, there's another one. I swear I'm not doing a certified rebuild in this fucking thing. I'm just rebuilding the back of it. It's like, Jesus Christ, a lot of shit. So I can't remember if I showed you guys the aftermath of the 66 here, but a little bit closer imagery here. You can see everything on the core pretty much just jacked up. Frame brackets were all jacked up. Pushed it into the fan. Fan got hit there. And you guys can see there where the fan impact the coolers there. Going back over here, got everything all cleared off, but all the grill work was gone. And up top here, it took a chunk out of here, here, and here. Even bent up the grill work here, so we got a whole new panel coming in as well. So, you know, fun stuff, boys. Starting our morning out at the local landfill. I mean, John Deere dealership. Got a starter. Boom, that guy right yonder. There's some new hardware for our old uh, telehandler job. So. There'll be some interesting times coming up here. Uh, hopefully later on this week I can get that telehandler put back together. Uh, tie rod in, new starter, and um, hopefully be done with that guy. That's uh, my Friday project. Today we're going to get finished up on that 66 or get somewhere with it and maybe have that fired up by tomorrow. So stay tuned for more updates, boys. Out with the old, in with the new. And shipping did a hell of a job, you know, with these fucking fins. But should be back in here soon. Fun, fun, fun. All right, boys, you see right there in the picture, we've got the coolers installed. Um, everything's lined up. No frame damage that we've seen so far, so that's a plus. Started to get the rear section of the hood, and we got all the panels now to put the rest of this thing back together. So hopefully tomorrow we get it to the point where it's starting and running. Um, I gotta go to a different job on Friday, so probably Monday-ish this thing should be done, hood back on it, and uh, ready to get back into the dirt. Or trash, sorry, trash. So there's your update, boys. On to tomorrow. Got the old broke ass lineman cloud out here. Just doing his job. It's supposed to rain, hasn't rained yet. Got the new tie rod put in. That blue Loctite though. Uh, I'm gonna drop a video later today, guys, showing more explanation on how to install these because I know a lot of people do struggle with these. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop a video tonight about this particular issue. So have a good day, boys. We got the starter we gotta put on this thing at some point. 
Big shout out to the fantastic people of John Deere for not being able to tell the difference between metric and standard washers. Awesome.